Just making the last few finishing touches on the moon gate. Getting ready to take the barrel out. Hopefully the whole thing doesn't collapse when I do. Looks like it's, it's got plenty of weight on it and it should hopefully hold itself in a circle. So you're gonna put a few more rocks in or is it, are the main ones on top in the final position? The main ones are in the final position. I mean, I've been just kind of circling it, trying to find little things that need to be uh, touched up here and there and um, making minor changes. But I'm thinking that it's about time to just take the barrel out. All right, lock him out. Still hasn't fallen down yet. <laughs> The Check it out! Wow! Check it out! <laughs> nice. So we started with a really solid foundation and realized that if we continued uh, building in the same way that we were going to take five months. So um, <clears throat> everything else is also really solid but um, we had to change the way that we were doing, that we were building it a little bit to, to make it a little faster. Well, me and Tim worked on this project a lot during the PTJ and he was here all, all day, every day, working on it. I mean, I learned a lot about dry stack and the moon gate itself. When you're doing the dry stack and the moon gate and everything, you just need everything to really fit together well. It's like a big puzzle and every piece of stone is a puzzle piece. Another big thing is just that everything leans in onto itself and then into the, the like here, the ground behind it. So nothing's leaning out and just gonna fall off or anything like that. 